Here it comes! First, let's adjust the camera so as to not fall off because of lousy camera angles. So, after pressing the second switch, the propellers are completely stopped. So, how much time do we have? What? Ha! Uh, but, but, but I rotated the camera! Ah, oh, screw that! 65 seconds to make it all the way to the rear of the ship without falling off. This is one of the reasons why this jiggy is so challenging. You have to be fast as shit without falling off. So, okay, we're doing good. So far, we're escaping the engine room. We haven't fallen off yet. So, um, now I guess it would be the easy part, just climbing the ladder. And this is why I insisted in the last video that you want those sewer monsters dead. Why did I ground pound there? I, wa I, wa I wanted to go to a Kazooie to run faster, but I was still in the air, I guess. Okay, 22 seconds. I think we can do it. Well, yeah, we're definitely looking good right now. So, we made it to the rear of the ship. So you want to take a dive into that polluted water. I'll get into what it, what it does later on when I have the time. But for now, let's grab the jiggy. Oh my god! Oh my god, I have no clue where I'm going! Stop! Okay. Okay, I got the... I got the jiggy, but fortunately I wasn't able to make it out, so... This was a suicide mission, as it turns out. And this is often how it goes. You have enough time to get the jiggy, but not enough time to actually get out, so... Well, at least I get to, to keep the jiggy. The only thing that I lost are those notes that I collected so far, so... I, mean, I guess I'm gonna have to... Um, Camera! Excuse me. God, the camera really isn't cooperating with me today, and, uh, oh yeah, um, some of, some of these periscopes are actually enemies, uh, they don't lead anywhere, they just, uh, chew you out, and, yeah, that's basically it. And I'm sort of disappointed that, that I, that I didn't manage to not die. Mumbo token inside this lifeboat, by the way. But yeah, I've, I, I've been having a great run so far, no deaths, and then this happens. But I guess, you know, this is the hardest jiggy in the game, so I guess I'm sort of expected to die once or twice. So uh, we're going to stop the engine once more. As you can see, all the notes have uh, made it back to the engine room, so we're going to have to collect them again. And But the main reason why I want to stop the engine again is because as I said in the last video, well, you saw one of these two uh, Mumbo Tokens, but yes, there are two Mumbo Tokens that are only achievable after stopping the engine. So that's why I'm going to have to head back to that engine room of hell to get some more notes as well as those Mumbo Tokens. So uh, while I do that, I might as well uh, tell a little story related to the Jiggy that I just got. Uh, in the Speed Demos archive run of this game, uh, the guy who's holding the world record actually screwed up this uh, Jiggy real hardcore. The reason why I'm saying that is because uh, uh, there's a glitch that allows you to go through the window that's near the second switch, and that actually leads to the room where I pressed that first switch to uh, slow down the engine. And yeah, there's a glitch that allows you to go through this window, excuse me, die, thank you very much, but uh, yeah, and he tried to do it, and it just wouldn't work, it was like, it, it, it took him several minutes to uh, pull it off, which is uh, a lot more time than it would have actually taken him to just do it the regular way, uh, of course the payoff is pretty huge if you manage to pull off that shortcut in a speed run, but uh, otherwise, um, yeah, he re he really really screwed it up really really badly. So this uh, this is uh, by his own admission by far the worst part of that speed run. Nonetheless, that this speed run is really amazing. So if you if you if you feel like watching a Banjo Kazooie speed run, other than that one mistake, it's really really well done. So I suggest you head over to Speed Demos Archive and uh, look it up.
Uh, anyway, so far so good. I haven't fallen down any holes and gotten most of the notes I lost back. Wasn't ready to make the jumps, so I'm just gonna wait for the next cycle. Here we go. There's an extra life over there, which I uh, was keeping in case I was uh, I would die, so here we go. I'm once again maxed out in terms of lives, so let's stop the engine again. And what was with that bullshit with the camera actually rotating? Uh, you know, uh... Well, when, when I pressed the switch, uh, the camera cut to that, and then after that, it was like it. Well, yeah, look at that! It did it again. Ch change, it changed angles again without. Or maybe it's not. It's not a glitch, and it's just you know, um, it's just part of how the game was programmed, or just uh, an oversight. But it's just really annoying when you when you when you adjust the camera uh, uh, when preparing for a speed dash like that, and then the and, and then the game's gonna have none of it. Anyway, as I said before, this is the only way you can get these two Mumbo tokens without dying. Of course, if you if, if you want to get them without stopping the engine, feel free, but I guarantee you won't be able to make it back to uh, safe ground before the thing starts spinning again and you die. So, so... 18 seconds left, and I got both Mumbo tokens. I also grabbed every note that was in the engine room, so I guess in a few more jumps, we'll be done with the engine room of death. If I can just pull this one off, then it'll be all right. Whew! There we go! Never coming back here again, at least until the next time I play this game. So, done with the engine room of death, so... I guess we're going to check out uh, all the other rooms that uh, this boat has to offer because trust me, there's a lot more to it than what you uh, than what you just saw. So I guess uh, the way I'm going to be doing this is I'm going to be doing this uh, from back to front. I'm going to head back to the rear of the ship and um, is there something up there? I know I can't go all the way up in that area. There, I can only get to uh, the uppermost area with the help of a crane, but Oh yeah, we got a mumbo token, which I guess is better than nothing. Come on, die, sewer monster! And now, uh, okay, I already did that, so... Uh, one thing about the, this boat that, that's really easy to miss is that there are some rooms that are hidden behind some of these windows. Some of these uh, can't be opened, but some of them, okay, like this, so you can't open this one. So I guess I'm going to head down this periscope, and th that means that the room I'm looking for is probably on the other side. So Oh crap, TNT box! Oh man. Well, that sucked. I didn't have uh, enough time to react. Come on. Okay, good. I wasn't ready the first time around, so that's why I decided to wait. There's no reason in taking unnecessary damage because you're in a hurry. But taking your time is excusable at this point in the game because I'm in the eighth world out of nine, the hardest one of them all. So, we got a few no's. Oh crap, another TNT box once again. Wasn't ready for that. Now, is there anything else? I get the feeling that I'm missing something. I guess not. Um, I don't see anything that I missed, at least, so I'm going to leave this room for now, and I'll come back if I get to the end of the, of the world, and it turns out that I missed something here. So, no, don't eat me! So, I'm just going to show you something that's hidden behind this thing. 312111. This isn't just a string of random numbers. This is actually going to be really important in a bit. But first, let's head down to one of these rooms that I was talking about. This, apparently, is the sailor's bedroom. And there are a few things that are rather well hidden. I know there's a mumbo token in here. Grab the note, god damn it. Uh, is it on top of this bed? Yep, it is. As you can see, uh, they're really starting to hide uh, these mumbo tokens in the, in the darndest places that you can't see it with regular camera angles. You have to go into first-person view if you really want to get full assessment of what's in that room. So I guess... I guess that's about it, so... 
Why do I get the feeling? I always get the feeling that I'm missing something when I'm leaving somewhere. Especially at this point in the game where it's, you know, a lot harder to uh, remember the locations of absolutely everything by heart. So, now we're uh, at the front of the ship. So, oh yeah, I remember this. So you have to uh, climb on these smokestacks in order to get some items. So, um, while uh, while I'm doing this, because uh, once again, this isn't gonna, this isn't going to be the most exciting thing ever. I might as well mention something that eluded me in the last video. It's actually something that I noticed in editing, and uh, a few of you told me about it in the comments. But there's actually a typo in the game. Well, I don't know if it's a typo or a genuine uh, grammar mistake. But uh, at one point, remember when I went to get the Red Feathers cheat uh, from Cheeto and uh, Gruntilda threatened uh, Cheeto with bodily harm? Well, uh, at one point she said then, it was supposed to be T-H-E-N, and uh, in the game it was written T-H-A-N. And, um... Quite personally, I'm, I'm not sure how so many people make that mistake because it's not like it's that hard to figure out. Then again, maybe, maybe I don't know, maybe I'm just uh, better than most people at that kind of things, you know, uh, words that, uh, that sound the same thing but have different spellings and stuff. Um, I, I don't know, I've, I've always found it way easier than most people for some reason. I, I don't mean to brag, that's in both French and English, by the way, before you ask. Um, so, got a uh, mumbo token and a uh, jiggy out of those smokestacks. Now, remember those uh, numbers that I found on the, one of the walls of the ship earlier? This is where they come in handy. Three, one, two, one, 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 and we get a Jiggy for this! Pretty easy Jiggy, actually. So, um, now that this is done, I'm gonna check out some of these, uh, some more of these rooms that are inside the ship. No, don't you dare eat me! I guess I'm gonna, uh, okay, there's nothing in that lifeboat, so I'm gonna check down uh, that periscope and see... Oh, we're, we're in we're in the kitchen now. Awesome. Whoa! It <laughs> comes charging at me at full speed. Little bastard. Okay, there's probably nothing in there. Other than the eggs, of course. So, uh, be careful, by the way. Uh, those, uh... Those ovens are red for a very good reason. They are hot, and I'm gonna have to take one for the team and take some damage if I want to get that uh, mumbo token. So, got one more note. Once again, rather easy to miss because of the camera's position. Okay, once again, I have the nagging impression that I'm missing something. Once again, it's worth repeating, if I am, don't tell me. I want to do all this by myself. Besides, besides it's not like ha like I haven't ever played this game before. So there are a few more rooms to check out in this ship. So we're gonna take care of that. And oh, this is the captain's room, man. Judging by that music, there is also a secret item. Definitely an egg, since we already got the ice key in here. We got the jiggy, and I'm going to bet that the egg is on the captain's. There, there we go. So, I guess there really was nothing more than that, though I got a Jiggy that's actually pretty huge. Uh, okay, there's nothing in that corner. You, you, you better check everywhere for those, uh, for those Mumbo tokens. They, they really become very well hidden uh, later on uh, in the game, as I said before. Now, I think I have time to check out uh, one more room, and the entrance is, is right there. If I remember, this is the navigation room, I guess? Yeah, that's it. Uh, of course I remember that because it was, it was the only one that I remember that I haven't checked out. Come on, die! Okay. Mumbo token. Wow, we already got 10 in this level out of 15, so we're doing pretty good. Now, whoa! 
I really should stop should stop running around so fast. I'm taking unnecessary damage here. Okay, so I guess that's it. Then. Okay, there was a mumbo token already here, so I guess we're done with this room as well. So next time we're gonna check out um, the remainder of the rusty bucket as well as some areas surrounding it in this bay.